My name's Kayla, this is Cinnamon Peaches and Sage, and who are these four mysterious characters shown in the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLC trailer? Are they new characters? Are they characters we've seen before? It's entirely possible that these are new characters that we've never seen before and they're saving them for a big reveal, but assuming that this is a teaser for characters that we have seen before, let's speculate on who these four mysterious people might be. The first character is in a very particular pose, they seem to have their toes turned inward. In Japanese anime, this tends to mean that the character is female or at least feminine. The shadow also seems to kind of be hunched down a little bit and potentially holding something. I think that this might be a shadow of Viola. Viola is a female character who is typically posed with her toes turned inward. She holds a camera and tends to kind of squat down in order to take photos. The second shadow seems to be wearing something like a cape. They have their arms crossed and they have some sort Sort of object on top of their head. I think that this is probably Leon. Leon wears a cape and a hat which fits with the shadow and he also sometimes poses with his arms crossed. Yuri would also be a good fit for this shadow since she also wears a cape, has her arms crossed, and has a sort of crown on top of her head, but because she's a character in the current game, I think it's very unlikely that this is her. For the third shadow, it seems like this person's legs are mostly together and that they have something long and flowy, either a cape or hair. I think the character that makes the most sense for this shadow is Caitlyn. She tends to stand with her feet together and she has long flowing hair and sometimes a cape. Obviously I could see people saying that her hair has a very distinctive shape and that doesn't match with the shadow, but if we look at young Caitlyn, her hair has less of that distinctive shape, so it's possible that we might see a Caitlyn that is either younger or somewhere in between these two ages. Or maybe she styled her hair differently. I don't know. The final shadow was the most difficult to place. This character has a very cool stance and appears to have some sort of ponytail. Wishful thinking, I hope that this is N because he fits perfectly with that and I would just love to see his character again. But it could also potentially be Annabelle because she has that same sort of vibe going on. As well as Grimsley who has appeared in multiple games with different looks. A gym leader, a champion, somebody who does lots of different battle related things and a rival. Could we be getting lots of different characters from other games? And if so, how is this possible since these characters tend to exist in different times? Well, assuming Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are near the end of the Pokemon timeline, and because we know AI, Sada, and Turo had the champion data within their systems, there must have been a way that data was collected and gathered, right? And Blueberry Academy, being a battle-themed school, would probably want data on different champions and gym leaders and so on and so forth, right? Could Blueberry Academy be the source of AI, Sada, and Turo's battle information? It would be an interesting way to have us battle characters from across the Pokemon franchise without really messing up the lore. Again, it's entirely possible that these four shadows are new characters, but assuming as I did that they are previous characters, what character do you think fit with each of these four shadows? Let me know in the comments. If this video made you think, make sure you drop a like. If you want to see more, make sure you subscribe. I'm also on Twitter at Kayla Capsule, and I run a Discord where we talk about Pokemon theories and all things Pokemon called Capsule Monsters. I hope you have a great day or night, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!